much like you saw with the pandemic or what you're seeing with the pandemic, I don't know if it, what kind of it is. I don't know if these people get a little too tied up in like the fantasy uh, that they live in or want to live in, maybe the movies uh, that they watch and stuff. But you have a lot of people wanting to basically dramatize events, events to say that it's like they want to say, and this is my honest opinion and my honest assessment of it. I think they want to say that they survived the apocalypse. They want to be like, I survived a, a very bad situation. I don't know if it's something they want to be able to tell their kids or the next generation, or they want to be able to just say that they were able to do something with their, within their own power to make the situation better though looking death or a very bad scenario um, in the eye. So it's like this false sense of heroism, false sense of bravery. Uh, and you have a lot of people kind of approaching politics like that. It's kind of like why they dramatize something. I need people to understand that what we have done when it comes to the Modelo virus is unlike anything that we've ever done in modern human history. Like, think about that. I know it seems normal now, but this shit ain't normal and it wasn't normal we have shut down and it's not just the america this has happened across many many nations and maybe at least my what i would guess is that the kind of connection with social media let, letting us all be connected it's a lot of events just get dramatized we did all of this for something with a survival rate of 99 percent and even when you cannot make the excuse that well we didn't know what it was well we didn't do that with other um, viruses that existed, whether it be in the H the swine flus, the Ebola's of the world that were virtually novel in a sense, and they made its way, uh, you know, to really s suffering. And we didn't do any of this, right? I get it that those are different circumstances. Hell, Ebola was worse when you consider that you were less likely to survive that any event. It may have been less contagious, maybe, but you were less likely to survive that than you are certainly this, uh, this, this current virus what we've done with this virus is unlike anything that we've ever done sorry someone brought up an idea yeah, like we, we've which you know is very similar to to what we what we're seeing with uh with the modelo virus anyway but we've never done any of that there's there was never any effort to shut everybody down until further notice indefinitely that that is something that we've never done Right. We've never, ever we've never done that. OK, guys, it was a very unique situation. But still, despite the evidence, we knew that what this virus was early on, believe it or not. This is why I can't let any of y'all make it saying, well, we didn't know what the virus was early on. Fuck that. The numbers that were coming out of South Korea and China before the numbers even came before it even got over to America, for example, and Italy said the same exact shit that is saying right now. That is that if you were younger, younger rather, and healthier, you virtually did, you were fine when it came to this virus. A lot of those earlier nations, particularly in Italy, this is what uh, the great John Neonidas was saying, that they handled it bad because of what they were trying to do for whatever reason was like basically put everybody in the hospital, even if you tested positive uh, for it. No matter if you actually needed the hospitalization, no matter if you actually needed the hospital care, you were filling up a hospital bed. And then, of course, what ends up happening is that when you actually need it for the people that actually needed it, the the hospital beds, well, there weren't enough to go um, around and they were making all of these adjustments. That was a mistake that had little to do with the actual virus and more to their response to it being very inefficient in terms of how they handle it. But the numbers said what they said. Now, only thing that happened when it came over to America is that we started to get rollout with uh, this rollout with these antibody tests and those tests were saying that, well, okay, this virus simply just isn't that deadly. It's just not that deadly. You're talking infected fatality rates in the point O's, bro. In the point O's. You know what I'm saying? That's what virtually every single uh, study that has been done, peer reviewed on the infected fatality rate for COVID-19 in virtually every single country is that all combined, you're talking point O's in infected fatality rate. It goes up depending on your age, of course, but even th among them, the, 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 the survival rate is crazy high. Y'all do understand that. Same can be said, though, 
And I think this is kind of it manifesting itself in another way is dumb shit like this. Amy, whoever blue check mark, I have no idea who this who this chick is. Uh oh, activist feminist, of course, rainbow flags. Nothing that we haven't seen from blue check marks on Twitter. And they we expect them to say very dumb shit. Can't be said enough, we toppled a dictator. Oh my god, yes, that's that's exactly how it works. This is how they envision. This is just like this sort of privileged uh way to look at things in like the modern western world where you think somehow you putting your stupid ass vote in is how you get rid of an actual dictator right you place your vote you're fucking finished right i've seen the memes like you place your vote you're fucking drunk you're finished and place your vote and then dictator gone god damn it man <laughs> Oh, uh, what is it with you guys, man? Like, and I'm saying this as a guy that is not a fan of Trump. We just talked about it last segment. Called him a hack. Nonetheless, it's this dramatization thing, right? Where people just, Trump's a Nazi. His supporters are a Nazi. So they can legitimize everything it is that they're going to do to you in the future because they want to make it seem like they are these people who are protecting other folks their 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 family members their friends the general populace the old people the young people especially the babies those are the two two guys that they claim you just don't care about if you advocate something that's antithetical to what it is that they want then you just hate babies you hate old people Look, guys, I get it. You know, we watch movies and we see these hero, uh, heroes do all of this very uh, brave things, these very heroic things where they take it to the person or groups of people that are going to end the world as you know it. That shit is not you. In fact, I can make the argument that you are a lot of what you, you know, you claim to be against. You're looking at yourself in the mirror. A lot of y'all are authoritarian assholes, okay? I know you don't like me saying that, but that's just what the reality of the situation is. That's what you are. You know, you want to use the state to force everybody to do whatever it is that you want to do, right? <laughs> that's what you are. That's what you are, <laughs> right? You're the evil son of a bitch in this equation, bro. But please save me this bull crap of you just wanting to so badly be able to survive the apocalypse or say that you took it to these evil Nazis and, and white supremacists and all of this shit. No, you just some fucking weirdo who fucking believes so much in this corny ass process where y'all come up with leaders and half of y'all are too stupid to even understand what the consequences are when it comes to your fucking voting habits anyway. Stop it. Just just stop it. 